Nigerian Senate and House of Representatives have harmonized their differences on the oil benchmark for the 2015 budget, pegging it at $53 per barrel of oil. It will be recalled that the Senate has set for $52 per barrel while the House stood for $54. The conflict between the two chambers of the National Assembly gave back to a conference committee that harmonized the differences. Meanwhile, the federal ministries, departments, and agencies have continued to appear before the relevant standing committee of the National Assembly to defend their budget. National Assembly is expected to pass 2015 budget into the law soon. From Abuja, Muywa Bamdele reporting. Ahead of the 2015 general elections, youths across Nigeria have been called upon not to make themselves tools for political toggery. A public speaker, Lino Sokori, at a peace conference put together by Peace Ambassador Agency in Abuja, said there can be no meaningful development when young people do not have the capacity to create peace. I want a sense of urgency that will spring forth in your heart, an inspiration that puts you in a place of leadership, that makes you say, you know what, henceforth, I want to lead. I don't want to react to stories that are flying over the air. I want to read. I want to provide leadership in my domain to ensure that the young people that are within my, 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 my community, my organization, can stand up for this country. This country wants young people that can stand up for it at this point in time. The convener of the conference, Ambassador Kingsley Amafibe, beseech the youths to shun any attempt of election violence while the National Commandant Peace Corps Ambassador Dick Sinako maintained the statutory needs to embark on peace building by sensitizing the youths not to allow themselves to be used during the elections. Today we beseech the Nigerian youth, which make up over 65% of the country's population, to unite with the Peace Ambassador Agency as we mark a turning point for peace that our country so desires. We know that the Nigerian youth are the future and the growth of any nation. Yet, many of us are used for violence. The youth are also involved in election parties, ballot bus during the elections, and which many of them lost their life in the process. My statistics shows that over a thousand youths lost their life during the 2011 elections. A lot of these politicians make promises to the Nigerian youth in public. As far as our objective is concerned, it is our strategic duty, it is our function, it is our obligation to embark on peace building. It is our responsibility to also sensitize the youth because we we'll make the job of the INA very, very easier if we can convince the majority of Nigerian youth not to allow themselves to be used in carrying any form of violence or in terms of uh, carrying a snatch ballot uh, buses snatching. Thank God with the new innovation that have been put in place now, we are going to witness minimal cases of ballot snatching. But the most important thing, if this youth disallowed themselves from being used, we must have lasting the body from INEC in terms of anything that will bring about any hitches in the conduct of the 2015 general election. The theme of the conference, the role of Nigerian youths, media and security agencies in the forthcoming elections. Awesome Raffle, Band Television News, Abuja, Nigeria. Vice Presidential Candidate of All Progressive Congress, Professor Yemi Oshibayo, has pointed out that Nigerian constitution does not permit state religion. 
Speaking at an interfaith town hall meeting in Kaduna, Professor Oshibajo said the party has no plan to Islamize or Christianize the country if elected in the forthcoming presidential election. There is talk today about the fear of Islamization or Christianization of the Nigerian state by my running mate and I, or by our party, the All Progressive Congress, which is absolutely impossible considering that the Nigerian constitution is clearly against elevating any religion to a state religion. In fact, two provisions in the Nigerian constitution make this clear. Section 10 of the constitution says there shall be no state religion. A PC presidential candidate used the forum to clear himself as a religion tolerant person. I would like to solemnly declare that in spite of what our detractors say, I am not a religious fanatic of any sort and I have never been. In all my life, I have never supported extremism of any kind. And nowhere in my record of service to our nation can this false toga, which political traducers have tried so hard to put on me, be substantiated. Indeed, it's very unfortunate, and I feel extremely sad, that I have to give this type of assurance at this time in our national life. Some of the cleric who attended the meeting called for peaceful, fair, credible, and violent free election. We said ourselves that we should shun violence, and that religion is not a do or die affair. You know, if you kill the people, who are you going to govern? So when you are governing the people, you want to uh, govern them, and you want, and then the election should be the way and manner to elect the right leadership, good leadership. So there is no need. We will be violent before, during, and after election. We need peace to carry out campaigns everywhere. We need peace to go to police stations. We also need peace to now bring up developmental structures in this country. I'm appealing to our politicians, please and please let us be careful with whatever words we are bringing during the campaign because words they catch like fire they consume so many things and we have to weigh any word we are using to bring to the public let every communication be that which can bring peace our Progressive Congress has also kick-started its zona rally in Kaduna as March 28 presidential election draw closer. In Kaduna, Muyua Bamdele reporting. The Presidential Campaign Organization of All Progressive Congress has condemned what it termed late response by President Goodluck Jonathan to the issue of Boko Haram insurgents in the country. The spokesman of the organization, Malansher Gaba, at a news briefing in Abuja, queried the PDP-led federal government for taking six years to tackle the insurgents. Why now? Why, why did Mr. Jonathan keep it so late? Why did it take? Why did him take? Why did it take him six years to decide what to do in the case of the Boko Haram? You know, and it's not as if uh, those ideas had not been available. You know, have not been made available to that. By way of suggestions, quite a number of uh, leading people in this country did uh, suggest the combination of uh, increased commitment on the part of the leadership in this country and cooperation from neighboring countries. In any case, as I said from the beginning, we are quite pleased that much is being achieved. Muyu Bamdele reporting.
In its continued efforts to make the Nigerian capital safe and habitable for all law-abiding citizens and visitors alike, the Federal Capital Territory Police Command has called on well-meaning residents of the FCT to partner with the command by volunteering information in combating all forms of crime and criminality in and around the Federal Capital. The FCT Police Commissioner, Wisin Inalegu, who made this call while briefing newsmen in Abuja about some of the achievements within the past week, said that information and tip-off from the public aided the arrest that was made so far by the command. Suffice to say that the FCT Police Command is well prepared, is determined, is doing all it can. And we need the public to continue to talk to us because we cannot be everywhere at, all, at the same time. But they are all there. They are our partners. They should regard themselves as police officers too. So that let us know and we react immediately to their concerns. DCP Dan Mala Mohammed, who read out some of the achievements, urged citizens of the FCT not to take any information or tip off for granted, as that could lead to the stoppage of heinous crimes within the federal capital. Below is the summary of the breakthrough recorded by the command in the first few weeks. Item number, recovered vehicles, 12 in number, recovered arms and ammunition, 6, recovered ammunition, 11, recovered cows, 201, suspect arrested, 25, cash recovered, 350,000 naira, roofing tiles recovered, 4,860 meters. Matched recovered 4. Total number of cases recorded within the period under review 10. The command paraded some criminals who were involved in burglary, car theft, cattle rustling and other crimes with one of their major achievements as the arrest of one Mary, a CN, female, who has been parading himself as a mobile police officer and using that identity to extort money from residents around the Zuba area of the FCT in Abuja. I am Festus Ejirog and FIFA for Ben Television. An upcoming Nigerian gospel artist, Phil Robert, has called for more collaboration between the media and the entertainment industry. Phil Robert made a call at a public presentation of his new album in Abuja. He noted that the collaboration with East Challenge is experienced by upcoming artists in the country. And I've had one-on-one -on -one meeting with uh, the media houses. I've also had one-on-one -on -one meeting with uh, entertainers in Abuja. And what the, people, the entertainers are always saying is that the reason why they are not being promoted in the media is because there is no, there is so much friction between the media houses and entertainers. The entertainers are always complaining that the media houses will always charge them to be, to, to, to play their songs. On air. Even the comedians are also complaining. And most of them will always say, before they even play their song on, on air, the, the person on, on air will be always telling them to give them small, small money and all that. And I've also had some time to discuss with the media houses. And the media houses will always say, we are also human beings. We need to be encouraged. We are not doing this thing for as charity. This is what we do for a living. So you also need to give us something. So I now decided, okay, how can we do this thing? So that, because the people in the media, they are also our brothers. Now, how can we do this thing to help them? Like when I was calling for this press briefing, and most of the media houses I called, immediately I called them. The first thing they will ask is, what is our media package? Some Nigerian artists like Paul Dairo, Collins Ademi, and others that grace the occasion advise all upcoming artists to focus more on quality and avoid anything that will dent the image of the industry. The three things I will say for every artist that wants to transcribe to be great, the three things, you have to have the product, then you have to have the perspective, then you have to have the push. The product is, if you don't have a good product, don't expect it to sell, and don't expect people to buy it. First of all, you need to go back and work very hard on the product which is the music. Then next you go to your um, perspective. What kind of perspective do you have? Do you have a drive? How do you work on your brand to make sure that people are attracted to your brand? All these things are part of the things that will help you as an artist. The entertainers, the musicians have not also gotten their acts together. You get up, have you gone through the right rudiments to put together a proper CD? 
You just get up, you go and do it, and then you go to a media house that has struggled to make money to stay on air and to be probably one of the best media stations probably in the land. And then you go, you walk over to them and then give them a CD that is just, you can't play it. And then you leave them and say, this media house A, media house B is bad. If you have something, you have the content that is worthy enough for media to present, I don't think they will charge money because it's news for them too. If you have something that is wonderful, that is sellable, I don't think they will want to charge you money. I think that they will want to go for it because it's news for them. The truth about this thing is that if you have a wonderful content... From Abuja, LM Chikwamika report for Ben Television News.